Hello everybody, welcome back to another stream brought to you by Masterless on the Masterless Arc Survival Evolved server. This is episode 4 of the centre map episode uh, and today something pretty interesting has happened so far. So we decided that we were going to go to um, install a new mod and the mod that we've gone for is the Tameable Alphas mod. And the reason that we've done this is mainly because um, we really wanted to install Ananaki Genesis on the server, but since the, de the developers of Ananaki Genesis have said that they need to, well, really wipe the mod um, and start all over again, and that they will be still updating Ananaki Genesis, but not as much, and that they'll be announcing the new Ananaki soon, we decided we we're going to wait um, on this server anyway until that's been done. And then we'll get the new Ananaki mod when it's out. So in the meantime, we just wanted something to make things a little bit more interesting and to have a bit more than the vanilla art gives. We already had Arc Advance and Arc Advance Supply Drops, and so we've now gone for the Tameable Alpha mod. And the way this is works is that you can still tame. Sorry, you still can't tame the normal types of alphas that still spawn on the island. So you'll get your standard, uh, you know, Alpha Raptor, Alpha Carno, and Alpha Rex. And when you look at them with a spyglass, or you get really close to them, you know, it says Alpha Raptor level whatever. But with this mod, you now see Wild Alpha such and such. And there are many more types of Alpha Dinos that you can get to. You know, Alpha Beavers, Brontos, uh, Quetzals, Spinos, all sorts of Alphas. And there are loads of cool features about them. Some of them have damage resistance to wild giggers as well, so you know they act as pretty good protection for your base and giggers, um, and just yeah, a few other bits like that. So within you know 20 minutes of installing the mod, I decided to I was actually going to go and do a quick cave run like you saw me do in the last episode, but while I was on the way there, I ran into a or I saw a wild level five alpha bronto. So decided to tame. Well, I decided I was going to KO the Bronto, check out how fast its torque goes down and how quickly I'll be able to tame it, given that I had like literally nothing on me at the time. I had no narcotics, no berries, veg, nothing. So it took, um, I think it was three or four of the 30cc darts to take it down, and then sure enough, its torque dropped. I'd say, um, I'd say very, very similar to that of like a high-level Spino. Um, it, or uh, a Giga. If anyone's trying to tame a wild Giga, you can see how quickly the torque drops. It's pretty much the same effect with Alphas. But fortunately, my uh, tribe mate Erexian came, dropped off some narcs, and I got it tamed up. And then, so, I was on the way back to base. I just tamed up a new Alpha Bronto. I was really keen to get back and get a saddle on it. And then, on the way back, I actually stumbled into this guy. Everyone, meet Baby Derp. So uh, yeah, this is a uh, this is awesome. It's a, a really cool adolescent uh, Alpha Raptor, and they can spawn. There's a really really low chance for adolescent Alphas to spawn on the island. So I think I'm pretty sure it was like ridiculously lucky for the bump into this guy on the way back. And so yeah, tame this guy using primes, and it didn't take very long at all. I mean, if you have a look at the stats, you can see that they're. Um, I mean, they're pretty intense for an alpha. Um, for example, and just while we're over here, there is the Alpha Bronte. This is Littlefoot. Littlefoot is uh, an absolute hero. I mean, his stats are, um, well, they're just killer stats. He does eat, like, a lot. And I've been told that alphas do consume food at ridiculous rates, so you do need to keep them stocked up. So there is a little bit of um, maintenance, I suppose, that goes with having them. But, I mean, look at those stats. I've pumped a few levels in. Um, he tamed up at level 7, and he's now level 18. So, you know, stats have gone up somewhat. Um, weight started at, um, I think the weight started at 2,800. And Malie started down at about 115%. So put a little bit into those. Health only seems to go up by 400 points a level. Um, from reading over the mod notes, actually, it does say that the way that the mechanics work with the alphas are that um, if you tame them when they're a high level, so if you find like a level 100 wild alpha, then it'll be very, very strong. But 
once you've got one tamed, the stat boosts are sort of really minimal. So, I mean, I'll just add a pick something here. Let's go for another uh, movement speed. So, oh, okay, so yeah, you know, what was that about two and a half points, I think? So, pretty good for movement speed, to be to be fair. Um, but yeah, so anyway, back to what we were doing. So, here is um, the raptor I've already got. Um, just uh, level 185, so I'm not quite sure what level um, she was when I tamed her. So, this is the next to. Um, Next to Baby Dirt. So, I mean, yeah, Baby Dirt is adolescent at the moment, and I don't think that it's um, too much bigger at all than a normal raptor. Um, you're gonna be okay for me? Oh, yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. How quick is the weight going up to? Okay, nice. So, so, not too long left, really, for this to mature. So, hopefully, by the time we get back, um, this thing will have grown up and I'll be able to get a saddle going for it. Uh, yeah, cheers for that, Robin. Uh, we have to get a saddle for it and to, to get it going. You have a look at the stats. I mean, you can see that the stats are, like, totally different. Um, just my, Baby Dirt is massively better than, than this Raptor here, Robin. So, so obviously, with the success, you know, the, a couple of these alphas, I decided to go a bit more serious. Um, just not long ago at all, um, as he was locking off, Erexium was on Volcano Island at the north of the centre map, and he was, I think he was leveling up and playing around, and, I mean, he mentioned that they, uh, there is an Alpha Rex level 75 on um, Volcano Island, and that um, he thinks it's a wild Alpha Rex on it too, so, you know, obviously there, um, that should mean that it's tameable. Now, I do need to make sure that I'm stocked up on tramp darts because I imagine an Alpha T Rex of 75 is going to take a lot. Um, I also could probably do with just ensuring that I've got enough narcs on me as well. I'm not, like I said, this is the first time I'm going to try this out, so I've no idea how this is going to go down. I could die, I could lose everything, so you know, we're just going to have to see. So, what I'm going to do is take us up to the North Volcano Island. See what we can find, see if we can locate this uh, this Alpha Rex and get it tamed and bring it back to base. So, I know that Phoenix is the Quetzal that you usually see me on, and because he's got pretty ridiculous uh, melee damage, and he's got a decent amount of health too. However, if you look, his speed's 155, and you know, I want to get to the Volcano Island back fairly quickly. So, I'm going to switch for this episode from Phoenix, and we're going to use Bretzel instead. Pretzel speed's much higher at 201, so yeah, we should have a lot more luck um, getting there quicker. So, I'm just going to take some of these uh, bits out that I've got from doing some drop hunting earlier. Just going to pop them away in the right box. Okay, so there's the armor box. Let's get those in. I think so, this is the next one. Uh, let's just pop that in there as well. And so, let's just make sure we've got everything for the gym. So I'm just going to quickly fill up my canteen. Have some water. Uh, we're good for food. So as you can see there, we've got plenty of mushrooms. And now, let's go for a ride. So, um, because I don't want you to have to watch me fly away to the volcano, uh, I'm going to go there now, and I will meet up with you all again um, when I land. So I will see you in a second. Okay, welcome back people. Um, we're just about to approach Volcano Island. I thought I wouldn't wait until I uh, land, just in case the Alpha Rex is um, anywhere around the front here. Yeah. Um, I actually mentioned that he was on the coastline somewhere, or as you approach the island, I can see him, so um, I'm going to do a bit of searching now. I'm not 
not sure if this is because of the recent patch, but the trees all seem to be glowing orange um, at the minute, which is kind of cool, but it looks a bit like an 80s neon disco lighting party or something. Maybe that'll look in a minute, so. Oh, okay, there's a Giga. There's a Giga, so I don't think we want to mess with that, so I'm just going to fly a little bit higher. The fact that it'll be quite cool, I'm quite intrigued by this Alpha Rex if I can find it, because I've heard that they're, they're supposed to be really good at killing wild gigas because of the damage resistance they have. I'm pretty sure that the tamed Alpha Rex has 80% damage resistance to a giga. So, that should be um, pretty awesome. It'll mean that you don't have to KO wild gigas and then kill them anymore, or waste an insane amount of bullets from a rifle. Um, however, there's no sign of the wrecks anywhere so far. So, um, yeah, okay, we're going to take a break now, people, and uh, we'll tune back in once I've found uh, the wrecks, if I do find it, or anything else in the alpha that I can take. So, um, yeah, I'll see you back in a second. Okay, welcome back, people. Um, I know I said I was going to fly around the Volcano Island for a little while and see if I can find any alphas to tame. But I realised that there were tons of dinos around that were quite dangerous and in really close proximity of each other and all the dinos there. So I wanted to go back to base and grab my assault rifle and some ammunition just in case I need to fend anything off um, you know, while I'm taming. And on the way flying back to the Volcano Island after having picked up some kibble for alphas um, and some guns, and when I say kibble for alphas I've just gone for, for normal kibble. I actually saw this down below. Oh. Oops. Just eating one of the, uh, <laughs> eating one of the kibble. So, yeah, sorry. I, I've actually spotted this down below. And if you look... Can we see? Is it going to let us see? No, it's not. Because my Ketzel's head is in the way. Let's try this. So if you look down below... I saw like a huge beaver dam, and it's actually an alpha beaver dam with an alpha beaver next to it, level 60. So I had a look inside the beaver dam, and most of the stuff there was the usual stuff that you'd get. But I actually also found this uh, beaver kibble. So, as you can see there, this kibble is carefully crafted by alpha beavers, and is very healthy food. Uh, alphas really like this kibble, but does not provide taming affinity. So I'm guessing that you can use this obviously to tame alphas with, and I would love to tame that alpha beaver. Now I only have nine of them, and I'm not sure... If... Now I now only have eight of them, <laughs> and I'm not quite sure how it's going to work. Um, spyglass glitch there meant that it just cost me one of those kibbles, but... Um, yeah, I figured let's go down and just see what happens if we try and feed um, this guy some kibble. Now hopefully the beavers that I had aggro to me after um, accessing the dam aren't still after me. Um, and hopefully I can park up here safely. Yeah, it looks like the coast clear now. And um, yeah, let's just see let's just see what happens if I can um, feed the beaver. Oh wow, okay, so I've only got seven of these, and that went up just by a tiny amount. Um, and it looks like there's a cooldown as well, I think, at the bottom left, as to how long it can be until you use it again. So, yeah, I think we're going to um, we're gonna leave this guy just here for now, um, and, you know, just remember that he's here, so I can come back to this pool for him at um, a later point. And now we're going to go back over to the um, Volcano Island. Now, because I've already got the um, Alpha back at base, and of course I've got the uh, Bronto, I really like the Alpha Carno Rex uh, collection of Alphas. So I think this time we're actually going to see if I can find an Alpha Carno anywhere. Um, I'm going to tame the Carno now. We'll try using some of this new kibble. Um, but I did make sure also that I had some um, on me. So I've got some kibble for um, Rexes, kibble for Raptors, and kibble for Carnos as well. Um, just in case we need any of that. So I sort of I am much more prepared. I mean, there's some of the um, the Beaver Dam loot uh, that I got just then. But um, yeah, so let's just go over here and see what we can find. 
and see if we can see any alpha carnage. Now, I have had reports that there are quite a few alphas uh, over there on the smaller volcanic islands. So, yeah, that, that's something that we can go and check out if we have no luck here. Uh, and, yeah, you know, I, I would be tempted by an alpha rex at this stage, too, but obviously they'd take a lot longer to, to tame and. I don't know, I think it'd be quite cool to get them in order. Start with the Raptor and then get a Kano and um, work them way up to a Rex instead. So, as you can see, we're not having too much luck yet at the moment. I don't really see anything around. Um, I'm wondering what the Alpha Beaver effects are or whether they have um, like any bonuses or damage resistance or anything because I, um, I know that some dinos do. Let's put the kibble back in there. Use my spyglass. Okay, that's the Giga that we're not going to touch. Um, okay, you know what? Let's just head over to here and see if we can find any carnos. Now, I have um, enabled the server settings so that you can pick up alpha dinos in the same way that you can normal dinos. So obviously, you know, that doesn't apply to spinos or rexes or any gigas, but carnos and raptors at least, I, I figured it, you know, it might be quite helpful and probably a bit more realistic to be able to pick them up because at the end of the day, they're still the same type of dinosaur. Um, you know, they're just because just they're glowing with particles all over them doesn't really mean you should be able to pick them up. So, yeah, so we can now pick those up again. Um, not having too much luck yet with anything that doesn't appear um, to be anything yet of interest for us to tame. There is an Alpha Raptor down there, there's an Alpha Carno down there too. Tameable Wild Female Alpha 115. Okay, okay, so yeah, that is actually tameable. And I'm gonna see if I can pick it up. And I can. Oh, okay, cool. So, okay, th what's awesome about this now is I can fly back to base um, with this Alpha Carno here and drop this off in the taming pit that I've got at base as well to make sure that there's no risk of anything going wrong with the tape. So that's what I'm going to do right now is fly back to base, drop this um, lady off in the taming pen and then I'll tune back in once, I've, um, once I'm about to KO her. So I'll see you in a few minutes back at base, peeps. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we've landed safe and sound at base um, with our little taming pen ready to go. Um, so I think it's about time. Um, it's about time we get a taming. So let's see how many darts it takes to knock this uh, this lady down. So we've got 24 and um, darts ready to go. And um, let's see. I don't really want to see to do anything just yet. Just waiting to go down. Just waiting. Okay. Six now. Okay, so it took eight darts to get the carne down. And I'm just going to get some of the narcs now, our phoenix. And let's get dropping some stuff on here now to get the tame going. So, no, no, no. Let's just pump some of these straight away. 58,800 torque. Okay, that's insane. Um, let's put the kibble on this guy now um, and see what it goes for. Um, I'm not quite sure what the Taming Affinity does um, as, as far as Alphas go. I'm, I'm just going to leave this stuff on. I mean, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure whether it'll do anything or how much um, how much of the Taming bar is going to go up as a result of these things. But um, we'll have a look anyway once it's had a couple of uh, a couple of bites. Let's just get the Quetzal back over here. Okay. Follow. Ah, that, I like these nice safe tames. I know it's not quite as exciting um, for you guys viewing the episode online, but 
Uh, we've got a nice stress-free tame before we work our way up to the Alpha Rex, which I imagine, based on this taking eight darts, um, is not going to be easy. And I know this, uh, I know this can't have level one and five, um, which is obviously pretty cool. And I'm quite happy about that. Uh, we just had some kibble. Okay, so the kibble hasn't done too much. So um, we may need to make some more of this, I think. Um, Torp's okay for now, not too much happening there. So let's just pump a few more knots. Um, I'll go and see if I can work on some more kibble maybe. And, um, and then we'll come back to this tame when the taming bar is a little bit further up. Uh, so yeah, I will see you again um, in a few minutes, folks. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we're just keeping an eye on the uh, Alpha Carno. Make sure it's taming up okay. Uh, did drop down actually the uh, torp at one point, and um, sort of towards the start when I forgot to top it up with narcotics, so I had to um, run back and I mean, it dropped down to about 10,000. So then I had to just keep pumping uh, more and more narcs onto it. Have had to make a few more kibble now as well. Um, I think it's got through maybe maybe 12ish kibble so far, and we've got two normal and kilo kibble left. Um, and six of that beaver kibble as well, which I think purely because it says that um, it doesn't provide taming affinity. Um, I haven't bothered letting it eat any of those just yet, just in case it affects the um, taming effectiveness. I've already made a saddle for it, just a basic Carno saddle. Um, but the cool thing is, is that I've noticed at base that we could make a few more. Um, so, and this, by the way, this is uh, this is Nasha. So I tamed Nasha uh, yesterday. And it was again, it was on the way back from the volcano uh, when I was coming back to top up my um, gun and ammo and things. Uh, and yeah, decided to, to tame this guy and I spent a little bit of time leveling him. So um, yeah, I mean, they, they jump so high, the Alpha Raptors as well, which is really cool. And um, I mean, stats wise, you can see he's nearly 11,000, and melee damage is not so great. I think it does about 65, 66 damage, um, which yeah isn't the best, but, uh, but yeah. So what I actually found, I found two blueprints in the blueprints cupboard. So I found the one that I've just got in the smithy, and then this one here. So we've got an ascendant um, saddle, 232 armor for the carno, but the requirements. I mean, look at that, 23,000 hides, 12,000 fiber. Um, yeah, and I don't think we could fit that many um, slots in the smithy for those things. So. I'm going to get another mod at some point to just help with stack sizes, but for now, um, I have dropped a Mastercraft on a saddle weapon in here that I will be able to use if I can just gather the um, fiber and drop some inputs in there. So, once it's up and tamed, I will be riding it back around here to look at that. Um, also, got a Quetzal egg on the go, so I wanted to make a Quetzal that's just going to be used for mining metal and transport. So, we'll mainly be pumping weight and speed on that one, um, and that's about maybe about two thirds left to go on that um, so yeah we'll be leaving that until you know, that comes along today as well and let's just head back over towards this lady here and see how she's getting on so very very close now and also down to the beaver kibble which is going to be interesting so we've got 96.4% taming effectiveness at the moment 55 levels um, like I've said earlier, this does mention that it doesn't provide taming affinity, so I'm not quite sure what that means, whether it's just like not going to tame up at all with it or, or what. So we're just going to have to watch this. Um, so we'll watch next time it eats and watch the taming bar and just see what happens. As I may have to go out and get some um, some primes as well for this guy, so let's just see. what's going to happen here is trying an error a lot of the time with new mods um, which is the fun part really because you never know what's going to happen so yeah it's live and learn let's see how this goes okay so if looking up we're about level with that first five in the 55 level so I'd say it's just touching that first five what's its hunger so it's nearly down by 80 points now. Yeah, and it's about to get to 120, so I'm not quite sure at which point it's going to eat this stuff. Uh, let's see. No, it's just not 3,000 either, so we'll just have to keep waiting and see. 
I think it's usually around 150 until they eat, so that should be soon. Come on, eat the kibble. Eat the kibble. Here you go, Connor. Let's see that team when I get up. Okay, still nothing. Hmm. So it looks like the food has to drop quite a lot. Before it actually eats this kibble. Having said that, the taming bar did go up on that beaver earlier when I fed that some of the kibble, so you know, you'd think that it would be okay. Eat. Still nothing. Okay, and the food is now down like 200 points. And it still hasn't eaten, so I'm not quite sure. Sorry, not down there 200 points, down um, 100 points. So. Man, it was. This is really weird. I'm not quite sure when this guy's going to eat now. Right, it's just Give it some more knocks, I think, for it to be a process. Make sure that nothing bad happens in the meantime, too. Maybe it has to go down by, um, by 300. Sure. I mean, will it even eat this stuff, or does it just sort of keep it it's taming me to where it is? Um, hmm. Okay, so it's nearly at the 300 food mark. I mean, could that be it? I'll close this just before, just in case. Okay, so let's see if it's 300. No. <laughs> okay, so I have no idea at which point it's going to eat this stuff. I might just... I might have to run back to base and just craft uh, another of the normal kibble or two. To see if that makes a difference, because there's clearly not much going on right now. Um... And part of me wants to stay here and just see what level it drops to before it eats, just so I know for the future. And that's probably what I should do as well, so that I know how to use this beaver kibble. I mean, seeing as it's quite rare and you can only get it from alpha beaver dams, it must be it must be good when it does finally take a bite. And I wouldn't want to miss that by running back to base and getting some other stuff, so I'm, I'm kind of... I think I should stick with it for now. Let's see... It does seem a little odd though. Be good and eat your food. So it's nearly going to be down 400 food in a second. So it let me feed the beaver, but it's not letting me use this on the carno at all. Okay, what should we do? 
Mm, yeah, okay, I'm gonna go and make some other kibble up because I'm, I'm wondering whether this is just food for alphas normally. Um, or whether it's only beavers that you can use this kibble on. I'm not sure whether it meant beaver kibble as in it's come from a beaver or a beaver dam or whether it's actually meant for um, beavers. So, right, okay, we're gonna go and... We're gonna go and make up um, some more. Ooh, okay, a digger egg that will actually help with the generic eggs I'll need for a couple of my kibble. Let's just quickly go and check the egg collector now. Let's see if we've got anything else that we can use in here. I think we will have. Oh yeah. Okay, that's pretty good actually. That's another two eggs, and I think that should be all I need actually. There's two more kibble. These in here. Get some more of these eggs. And let's make two more of the garlic food. Pretty sure the female carne should be okay, not wise at all, wise up enough. There's a few in there, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. We'll soon know if we see a, uh, <laughs> a death message pop up for uh, Nasher anyway. This is my, uh, one of my two alpha raptors. Fingers crossed that doesn't happen. Okay, so there's the food. We've got the carnage food. We use that to get the kibble. And um, let's quickly now run out back. Because it should now eat these both straight away. Um, meaning that this should see us now finish the tame. So, let's put these on it. There's one. There's two. Ugh. Oh dear. Okay, so <laughs> just one more bite of something. Anything. I'm just going to use the last of these 20 knives. I'm sure I don't need to do this anyway, but I'd, I'd just rather be safer than sorry at this point, I think, folks. Uh, okay, I'm now dying of thirst as well, which has just sorted that. Okay, okay, so we need one more kibble. I can try not to do this, I only do this in emergency situations, but uh, yeah, it's looking as though I may just need to do that again. This one again, do I any left over some before? No, I need one more leg. Um, let's take, okay, because we've got three of those, let's just use one of those. And then this should, this should do it. I'm really looking forward to this. Really looking forward to this. I'm getting to the um, realms of breeding alphas in this as well. Um, so, so not only can you tame them and obviously use them, but all the breeding mechanics are included for the alpha dinos as well. So obviously you, know, you can keep breeding your way up and up and getting stronger and stronger dinos. And I mean, especially with the alpha rexes having damage resistance to wild gigas, um, it will be pretty cool to go giga hunting when I've got, you know, a few alphas or an alpha that's um, strong enough to be able to do this. Okay, and she's up. So, what should we call? What should we call her? What should we call her? Um, I think I'm gonna go with. Um, let's go with Brenda. I like the name Brenda for her. Okay. So I've got some beaver kibble now, so I, can, I should really store this in the fridge and go back to that alpha down at some point too, just to see. Um, to see how that's going to work. Uh, let's get the saddle on Brenda and let's take her out for a spin. Okay, so Brenda is pretty fast, stamina not bad. Um, awesome hit points, 20,460 and melee damage at 158. Um, probably one of the highest alphas I've had as well to start with. And just, uh, usual attacks. Yeah, so it looks like it's the usual attacks for her. Um, let's go out and quickly test her before we put her back. Okay. How about this? So she's pretty strong. damage is not too bad. Or about 90 damage with the uh, the knockback attack, so 
It's about double the damage, I think, that the Alpha Raptor's got at the moment. Yeah. I mean, it could be better, but obviously we can we can spend a while now leveling up. Having the stats up. Let's get some food for it. I do, I do really like the arm games, they're, they're a really cool go between in terms of speed and power. Um, they're really mobile and when you're up to speed on a little bit, you can just tend to you know, run away from anything that you can kill you on So, um, yeah. I'm going to be using this skill for I'm using Brenda uh, for quite some time, I think. Um, and also note that when you use Alphys as well, I've got no stamina right now. And um, yeah, I can carry on attacking as normal just because my torp's so high. I mean, look at that, 134,850 torp. So when my stamina runs out, yeah, I can't sprint anymore and do that sort of stuff, but I can carry on attacking because there's, you know, there's no way I'm going to get up to 134,000 worth of torp um, on the Alpha Carno. So let's just check out um, the type of uh, step-ups you get in the various stats when you apply some level up. So health goes from 2460 to... Okay, so you get 200 um, hit points per level, melee, um, about 1.5% I think, which isn't too great, uh, and movement speed I suppose is the next thing for us to try, um, with another level. So let's just get one more level, pop that into movement speed. There's another level for us. With a little bit of lag thrown in, thrown in there for free as well. Okay, so if we put this, so we've tested health, tested melee, let's test movement speed. Is it going to be 0.3? Okay, 3%, so not too bad, could be a bit worse. So, um, yeah, so we're going to get Brenda back to base now and wrap this up for this episode. Uh, again, so next episode, I haven't yet decided what I'm going to do. Um, that could be that I go out to tame an Alpha Raptor. I may go back to the Beaver if I can make up some more kibble. I do need to also mine a bit more metal in the meantime as well. Uh, I'd like to get a little um, pen going in the base for some more of these dinos just to keep them safe and get one of the um, Arc Advanced feeding troughs in there as well so that food doesn't spoil. Uh, but yeah from me for this episode at least thank you very much for tuning in again everybody uh, if you like the video please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel bring in some more videos from this new um, center map series now as well with obviously an extra mod the alphas mod 2 so yeah thank you very much I'll tune in again uh, I'll see you all again soon and have a great rest of the day thank you everyone bye bye